This up-and-coming actor is definitely one to watch. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 reasons you should know who Ana de Armas is. For this list, we're looking at all the reasons you should be aware of Ana de Armas. Number 10. Her Previous Acting Credits If you recognize de Armas, there are many projects you might remember her from, including the major one, which we'll get to later on in our list. In 2019, she worked alongside Rosamund Pike and Common in Andrea Di Stefano's British crime thriller The Informer. Back in 2016, she acted opposite Miles Teller in War Dogs, which also starred Jonah Hill. Why is it every time I caught you in a lie, you try to convince me that you lie for my benefit? At what point did you just admit you're a liar? But her breakout role came in 2017, when she starred in the much-anticipated Blade Runner sequel, Blade Runner 2049. She had the opportunity to work with Ryan Gosling in a film that ended up with five Oscar nods. Voila. Bon appétit. I missed you, baby sweet. Number 9. She's wanted to be an actress for a long time. De Almas was born in Cuba and grew up in Havana. By the time she was 12, she knew she wanted to be an actress and joined the National Theatre School of Cuba. Havana is different. I miss it so much during the entire year that when I go there, I want to go see everything. She was working in film just a few years later, though it would still be a while before she appeared in any Hollywood productions. When I was quite young, I remember I would be watching a movie or a novella and if I saw a scene that I liked, I would run right away to the mirror and I would repeat it again. The 2020s see her in her 30s, and while she's been acting for half her life, she still has strong aspirations for herself, citing powerhouses like Kate Blanchett, Kate Winslet, Meryl Streep, and Penelope Cruz as inspirations. Do you yeah. want to say hello to any one of your friends, family, people who supported you? mirando. <laughs> Aquí estoy, un beso muy grande, los quiero mucho y nada, a disfrutar de la noche. Number 8. She worked in Spain before Hollywood. De Armas' maternal grandparents were from Spain, and because of that, she was able to obtain Spanish citizenship. When she was 18, she left Cuba and moved to Spain, where she began acting in Spanish productions. After having done Una Rosa de Francia in 2006, she was hired to work on a TV show called El Internado set in a boarding school, and stayed on for six seasons. In 2009, she worked on the film Mentiras y Gordas. In the following year, she did another TV series called España, La Leyenda. Number 7. She came to the U.S. before learning English De Armas thanks director Jonathan Jakubowicz for discovering her and casting her in his film Hands of Stone, which brought her to Los Angeles. She knew that she was getting into something that she shouldn't. Somos de mundos muy diferentes. But she fell in love with him who he was, and that's what kept them together. The thing is, she didn't know anybody, and she didn't speak English yet. She had to do months of classes at the time to learn the language. I don't know if you know, when I moved to LA two years ago, I didn't speak English at all, so forgive me if I make mistakes when two I say years something ago, weird. you didn't speak English at all? No. In an interview with W Magazine, she said, quote, it was good exercise for my ego after eight years in Spain having a great career. When you move to the States, whatever you've done before doesn't count. It was kind of refreshing, to be honest. Number 6. Her big break was something out of a movie In true Hollywood fashion, Deonimus was scouted when she was outside talent agency CAA and on her way to the airport. Colleen Camp, a producer working with Eli Roth, insisted that she had to meet him. Before she knew it, she was being cast in Knock Knock alongside Keanu Reeves. I think traveling is the best way to get life experience. Especially when you're only there for 24 hours, you really make the most of it. <laughs> yeah, we make the most of it. This wouldn't be the last time she worked with Reeves. She also starred alongside him in 2016's Exposed and only has glowing things to say about the much-loved actor. There's this girl. She knows what happened. But what am I going to do? Bring her in? She'll be dead in a week. She told Hello Magazine, quote, He was so patient with me. He is a very humble person, the sort of person that you meet and want to stay friends with forever. And I got very upset and I said something like, anyways, who cares, we're not saving lives. And he got very serious and he looked at me and he said, don't say that, we do save lives. Number 5. She has been married Ana de Aramis may seem young, especially since she's a relative newcomer to Hollywood, and it can be hard to believe that she's already had time to be married and divorced. She married fellow Spanish actor Marc Clotet in July of 2011, and the two were together for two years before they split, with their divorce taking place in 2013. 
We don't have much information on their relationship since she was unknown in the US at the time. He is known for both his acting and his modeling, and is recognizable in Spain because of his work on popular primetime soap operas. Number four, her fashion sense. I was thinking about it for a while and I said, okay, uh, can we talk about the hair? <laughs> because I'm not okay with, can we get a wig? At the 77th Golden Globe Awards in 2020, Deanimus was nominated for the award for Best Actress, Motion Picture, Comedy, or Musical. She was already one to watch, but then she appeared on the red carpet in a darkly sparkling Ralph and Russo dress and was considered one of the best dressed of the night, even if she didn't take home a statue. You look stunning this evening. Thank you. Thank you. you. It's a costume Ralph and Russo and some little Tiffany detail, just, like just something. A yeah. little Tiffany. Yeah. But while this may have been her moment to wear an over-the-top princess-style dress, she's had many other great sartorial looks as well which means we'll definitely be paying attention to what she wears in the future. The classic mojito, I think, is very good. Or you can also go to El Floridita in Old Havana and try the daiquiri. The daiquiri is a typical drink that Ernest Hemingway used to have. Number three, her upcoming projects. The early 2020s will see lots of exciting films on the horizon for this up-and-comer. She's starring alongside Ty Sheridan in The Night Clerk, which comes out in February 2020. And she worked with Ben Affleck on a thriller called Deep Water, which will be released in the fall of the same year. Also, in an exciting announcement, we found out that Deanimus would be portraying classic bombshell Marilyn Monroe in a Netflix original drama that doesn't have a release date at the time of writing. Another Netflix project is Sergio, which is premiering at Sundance in January of 2020. Number two, she's the next Bond girl. The idea of a Bond girl may seem kind of dated in 2020, and that's why they're switching things up when it comes to the first James Bond flick of the decade, No Time to Die. Where's 007? In the past, the women who act opposite Bond have been pretty insignificant. But Anna de Armas as Paloma, the CIA agent, certainly won't just be there as eye candy. Phoebe Waller-Bridge of Fleabag fame was brought in in April of 2019 to liven up the script to make it funnier, but she also worked on the film's female characters, so we can bet that Paloma will have more to offer than meets the eye. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Knives Out We've managed to make it through this entire video without mentioning the role that most of you recognize Ana de Armas from, Knives Out. You know something. Spill it. Oh my god. Tell me what happened to my grandfather. I think you have something you want to tell me. Released in late 2019, this comedic mystery film was written and directed by Ryan Johnson and featured an all-star cast that included Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, Jamie Lee Curtis, Lakeith Stanfield, Michael Shannon, and Christopher Plummer, among many more. They're beautiful people. Aww. Like, they're nice people yeah. that I like. <laughs> that I, that we, you know, we, we actually spend a lot of time together and we got to know each other for two months in Boston. But the starring role went to Deonymous who, though she had acted in several big productions, was far from being a household name. Interestingly, she initially didn't even want to audition for the part because she didn't want to be cast as the, quote, pretty Latina caretaker. Luckily, she got to read the script and reconsidered. And if you've seen the movie, you too know that the character is much more than that. This is a twisted web. And we are not finished untangling it. Not yet. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.